All right, guys, so what I'm going to show you today is uh, what modifications you need to do to this Euro R manifold to install it on your H22A1, H22A, or F20B, or any H22 uh, that wasn't a Euro R head because they have a different casting. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the injector spray site. Since the JDM uses a different injector, the spray set pattern is a little bit more narrow than the USDM one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna open this up a bit. Uh, second thing we're gonna do is uh, shave the flange so the manifold sits flush on the head. If you don't do that, it will never seal. You'll have a gap. So we need to shave these two off. Third thing we're gonna do is open up the throttle body to 68 millimeters uh, might as well since we're here and we'll do the same to the runners we'll gasket match the runners okay what i'm going to do here first is uh prep the surface uh so we can put the dye on and we can get the scribe so i'm just using acetone surface prepped what we're going to do is apply the dye anywhere we're, we're going to be uh, porting sit for about uh, two or three minutes to let it dry okay what I did here I got the gasket that I'm using I also ported the head to the same gasket so everything matches um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna scribe a line on the inner part of the gasket and there's gonna be our guideline on how far to port so let's do that <laughs> that we can remove the gasket so now what we're going to do we're going to put the gasket uh, flange for the throttle body opening and this is what I'm using it's a Zerg uh, 68 mil so what we're going to do is going to put it on and then we're going to scribe the line All right, now since we got the lines uh, scribed on the uh, throttle body opening and also the runners, now here comes the foam part. Now it's time to start uh, porting.
Alright, so this is the rough cut on the porting. I only did the bottom side for now because I'm going to uh, flip the manifold upside down to do the top part. Alright, now with the manifold uh, flipped, uh, what we're going to do here, I'm going to get rid of these bumps here. I guess these were for the injectors. But uh, I'm going to get rid of them. It's going to be flush. And then I'm going to open this up to the, uh, to the line. And that's for the USDM injector spray pattern. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we got the rough cut for the uh, top portion of the manifold, which is the injector site. So I didn't go all the way to the line because I'm still going to go over it with the Dremel to sharpen everything up. Uh, this is just a rough cut. So I'm pretty much done with this side right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on... The throttle portion of it i'm gonna open that up then i'm gonna go back and touch this up and then shave these two off all right so we got the rough cut done on the throttle body let's see if i can line it up oh, it's kind of hard to line it up but it's a okay so I scribed the line going across what you want to do you want to make sure you go above the air injection holes because we got to uh, drill and tap those but we're going to do that later so for now we're just going to focus on grinding the top part of that flange so you can fit the USDM heads okay that's all done so see how I stayed above the uh, air injection holes so that's what you want to do and here's like a side angle of it you want to take that much off i got a head over here that i'm going to try it out later after i clean it because i don't want any of this debris going into the head um but um now we can focus on the injection sites so for the injection sites what i like to use is uh i like to use the dremel and then i like to use this uh burr here um it has a flat end at the edge of it so i could create a, a good uh kind of a 90 degree angle up in here and it looks more uh oem than anything okay so it's kind of hard to see but uh i went over it with the dremel over here in this area so i kind of got it to like a 90 degree angle there it just gives it more of a, a stock OEM look on the injector site. So I did that to all four. And um, I'm pretty much done for now because I don't have enough cartridge rolls, uh, 80 grit cartridge rolls to finish everything off. So I'm going to stop here. Um, I was pretty much done for the day. Got this opened up to 68. Uh, shaved the flange to could fit the USDM heads and then uh, gasket matched all the runners with the uh, injection sites opened up uh, so far this is looking good and uh, so what you what you want to do you want to get rid of all the high and low spots uh, so you see that low spot at the top you want to kind of blend all that in
All right, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna uh, drill out the air injection holes so I could go ahead and tap it with um, M5 by 0 0.9. So I'm gonna drill it out so I can tap it with this. Okay, so now I'm gonna tap it. I'm gonna use the drill method. and I'm gonna spray it with some WD-40 uh, prior to tapping it. So as you can see, the threads, okay, it's hard to focus. There we go. You can see the threads. Uh, so nothing was forced. Uh, the, yeah, the manifold did move, but that, that's good. I'd rather have the manifold move than to break the bit or kind of ruin the threads. But, it's done now, it's time to tap it. So now what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a uh, Permatex. And uh, we're gonna uh, tap it. So I just apply a little bit of the Permatex onto it and then just go ahead and screw it in. Okay, so we got the air injection hose uh, tapped and plugged. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, tap and plug this one. So I'm gonna be using the uh, 8M by 1.0. Uh, I don't think it needs any drilling. I'm just gonna go ahead and tap it. And then I'm just gonna plug it. So as you can see, I got some nice threads going on there. So I didn't just go in there and uh, squeeze the trigger on the drill and just go balls out. I was kind of tapping it as it went in. Uh, so it was spinning real freely. So, so it's all finished up now. Uh, so as you can see with basic tools, anybody can do it. Just take your time, don't rush, and it should be okay.